Hey Taurus, here's your message. It's more like a message from someone that you you have some type of connection with. You guys definitely connect in the dream world and in the astral realm, i.e. spiritual realm. This person fantasizes uh, on, on what it would be like to be in a relationship with you. There's some type of sex magic or I don't know if you and this person are aware of this, but you definitely had sex with this person, a lot of you. I, I can't see this being this intense without some type of physical contact that you have you guys have had with each other in the past or, or some in some form of fashion because they're confessing that they thought that you would have been left them by now and moved on with your life. So you are either still connected or in contact with this person or even if you're not Taurus, they feel like you stay longer than what you should have. They thought that you would have been stopped putting up with their shit and left a long time ago. And now they fantasize about you. Maybe you were lonely at some point of the connection and you got tired of it. And now they ass is lonely and in their head. And whoever this was, it had to be sexual and it took off really fast. You guys went from, you know, first base, second base, third base, home run. A lot, you guys hit a lot of bases very quick. And I believe that they have wet dreams about you. Um, they feel outcast. Maybe you felt outcast at some point in the connection, but now they have no one and, and you're just like, you're living in this person's head rent free, seriously. And uh, I think they have regrets on letting you go. They fantasize. It's like everything reminds this person of you. Everything. They could have Sagittarius and Pisces placements or uh, a lot of Neptune placements in their chart. But um, they are recognizing and accepting that this connection went way past this expiration date. And someone had to screw up because they don't want to be lonely, but they are. It, it, they could even be with other people, but they still fantasize about being with you. Yeah. I don't know. This is interesting. It could have been some type of spell work involved. But it's something about you that's enchanting to this person. You, you, they look at you as being very compassionate too. You could meditate, be very spiritual, very giving. This person has, is acknowledging that you've sacrificed things for them. And it's just like they're in their head about how it got to where it is. And they're acknowledging that they rushed something with you. And they understand why you moved on and felt like you should have been left their ass alone. So that's your message, baby. Bye-bye.